Oh man, I miss Hong Kong. It's been a while since I've been back. Hey Richard, guess where I am right now. Oh wow, that looks cool. I'm actually at the West Kowloon Cultural District. Oh my god, wow, that sounds awesome. That sucks that I'm not there. Well, I'll tell you what, why don't I take you on a day tour around West Kowloon? That sounds fun, but I'm gonna make it a little bit more challenging. I wanna eat like I'm in Hong Kong, I wanna feel like I'm in Hong Kong, and I also wanna look like I'm in Hong Kong. Do you think you can do that? What? That sounds so hard! Well, if you can't do it, then... Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't say I couldn't do it. Let's do it. I'm down for the challenge. Let's go! Okay, so first we need to give Richard a taste of Hong Kong. Let's see what kind of foods we can find on the streets of West Kowloon. This area is famous for its local mom and pop stores selling wonderful spices and sauces. My friends, Everyone raves about this fermented tofu. It's perfect for making carbonara. Oh wow, Virginia! Are you at a cha chan tang right now? Yep, cha chan tangs are the place to be if you want cheap tasty comfort food. I'm actually at Needle Cafe right now. Wait, is that also milk tea? This? Yeah, and it's been strained through a pantyhose for at least seven times to ensure maximum smoothness. I also bought you a bunch of other stuff too, beginning with that glorious milk tea that you liked. Oh wow, thank you. Man, milk tea, I miss this. And there's more. There's more? Yes, gone to ho ho. Oh my god, this is my favorite! And finally... Oh my god, you're spoiling me! What do we have? This is just magic! You're very welcome. And you know what? Now that with all these foods right here, I guess, you know, I can eat like I'm in Hong Kong. So one down and two more to go for you. Alright, alright. Just let me finish my meal first and then I get going. But there is a mirror at the side of the building that I have to show you. This is one of the top Insta-worthy spots in West Kowloon. To feel like you're in Hong Kong, you have to look deep into the cultural and historical aspects of the city. So I have some places in mind that perfectly encapsulates the feeling of being in Hong Kong. This is Tin Hao Temple. It is a declared monument and is over 140 years old. This area is full of historical and beautiful buildings that are a mixture of East and West cultures. This Yamate fruit market is the place for the freshest produce from all over the world. Grapes, durians, you name it, they have it. To find a truly unique gift, local craftsmen are a great source for custom souvenirs. Hello, hello. I have a friend who is eating food. He is living in Philippines. Can you buy a beautiful man's hat for us? Yes, it's beautiful. Is that Temple Street? Yeah, this is Temple Street. Let me show you around. Oh wow! Oh my god! Well, that's a pretty cool painting. Is there any you like? I think that one in the top corner looks pretty cool. That's like a nice view of Hong Kong. Awesome! So Richard, how did you like your real time tour? That was pretty cool, I gotta say, and it kind of feels like I was in Hong Kong. Wait, so you felt like you were in Hong Kong, right? Y yeah, fine, yes, I did feel like I was in Hong Kong. I gotta give that to you, okay? Fine, that's two, that's two out of three, good job. Awesome, and I've already got the next one figured out, and you are going to love where we're going next. 
Richard's room is a bit dull, I think. Hong Kong is a city full of art and rich with culture. It should be easy to find something to jazz up his room. The Xi Chu Center is a performance arts hub where you can experience Chinese opera, amazing dim sum, and spectacular architecture. The Broadway Cinematheque is a must-visit place for film lovers. It's not only a cinema, but a bookstore, DVD store, and a place to get your favorite movie posters. Let's see what we can find here for Richard. Hey Richard, I hope you're not too afraid of heights. Wow, what a great view. Yeah, I'm at Sky 100, which is the 100th floor of the tallest building in Hong Kong called ICC. It's so beautiful, my goodness. But let me remind you that I still don't look like I'm in Hong Kong. Right. One moment, please. You ready? Wait, wait. How about now? What? Now it just looks like I'm in Hong Kong. Wow, Virginia. I mean, okay, fine. You know what? You win. Wait, Ooh. what exactly do I win? Well, I mean, you got to go around West Kowloon and then now you're at a place with such a beautiful view. I think that's a pretty good reward, right? All right, fair, fair. Thank you, I guess. So what about you? What were your favorite experiences? Um, it's great because I felt like I was there with you during the whole trip. But definitely when I get back to Hong Kong, I really want to visit the art park for sure. And then I would want to go to Temple Street and get more painting because I really want to fill up this wall. I had so much fun. I mean, it's been two years since I've been back home and I really miss it a lot. And when we see each other, fish balls, please. I miss fish balls. <laughs> yes, that's my specialty. Thank you so much, Richard. Jai Bye-bye.